my altar call to those who are in the house. First of all, if you are not a Christian, you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a different word. That means put the brakes on. If Jesus should crack the earth skies right now, if a cloud, his cloud should carry him to hover over the world, over the earth, you wouldn't miss out on the rapture and heaven. Because by and large, post-rapture and tribulation is really meant for the bride. There'll be a lesser, lesser number of Gentiles who never heard the gospel. You're all hearing it. If you need to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is your choice today. Do I have one in the house? I want to be a Christian. I want to be a Christian. Looks pretty sanctified in here. <laughs> All right, then here's the challenge then based on the sermon. God, help me, watch this, to live an un... I'm tired of these masks. Now me, I wear masks to protect myself from people. I'm fine. You know... Let me put it on. If there are tourists, I'm like, I don't know what nation they're coming from. My one little Audi there in shopping. I don't know what nation they're from. I'm tired of masks. In the spiritual, be you have the mask on naturally, I'm not fussing with that. We're doing what we have to by wisdom. Seamen doing the same thing. In the spirit, though, no more masks. God, I'm going to be, I, I'm going to be realer than real from this point on. All I want to do is worship you. All I want to do is love yes. you. All I want to do is be the example for my friends and my family. And so, God, I need you to secure me and take me higher. If I'm talking to you, it hits you. Stand up to your feet right now. Right now. Don't hesitate. Thank you very much. God, I thank you for these people. Hey. Higher. And God, I pray. This week. Father God, this week that as they will go about their way, that you will cause there to be people in the, the way whereby they can speak to them and they would know that you've taken them to the next place. And somebody will recognize something a little different about you, a little bit extra, and they will know that it's the anointing that makes the difference. God, empower your people. God, we've got to win a lost Bermuda. We have too many people that we love. And God, you love all people and know them. And so we want all people to come to you. I don't care what sin they are in currently. God, you are a deliverer. So empower your people that they would have a prophetic word, a word to speak into their life according to your word. That's the prophetic. So God, I thank you. Encourage your people. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone says Amen. 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 God bless you. You can take your seat. God bless you. Wow, I am excited about that. Somebody listening, listening live, or they're going to be listening later on or on Swim TV. You don't know Jesus. You know his right. You know he's real. But you don't know him as personal Lord and Savior. You know God is real. But you're not ready for all that. You're not ready to go all in. But listen, I'm ready to go all in heaven. It's either all in heaven or all in hell. Oh so therefore, I choose heaven. Yes. I think you should choose heaven. Yes. What's your choice? Is there one today? Needs to get saved. Ask that away. One on the internet. If it's you, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Dear God. Dear God. I thank you for today. I thank you for today. God, I've heard your word. God, I've heard your God, word. God, I recognize. God, I recognize. People are not perfect. People are not perfect. Yet you sent your son. Yet you sent your son. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. To die for humanity. To die for humanity. To die for the whole world. To die for the whole world. God, I acknowledge. God, I acknowledge. I am a sinner. I am a sinner. But because you sent your son. But because you sent your son. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross. Dying for my sins. Dying for my sins. That I may have eternal life. That I may have eternal life. I confess. I confess. Jesus as my Savior. Jesus as my Jesus Savior. Jesus as my Lord. Jesus as Jesus my Lord. Jesus as my King. Jesus as my King. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Today. Today. To stay. To stay. Forever. Forever. Hallelujah. 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 If you did that, you see the numbers going across the screen. Reach out. You need a church hand. Now, every sports team has got a home. And 
people actually go to the games if they can afford it. <laughs> you need a church home. You need a shepherd. Somebody's got to baptize babies, marry couples, and unfortunately deal with funerals. So therefore, you need a godly shepherd. You need someone who rightly divides the word. I avail myself. Reach out to us. Let's connect. Holiness is what I long for. Holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want for me. Sing holiness again. Let's do that while the children are getting ready. church say amen Hallelujah. God has spoken let the church Pastor's proud of you. Have a beautiful week, okay? <laughs> Amen. We're going to have our outer seaman, just adorable.
come with the sermon nuggets, and he'll take it from there. Yes, he will. Watch out what's going to fight over. <laughs> yes. My Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Lord has promised mm -hmm. to lead us if we let him. Be assured, if you are a leader, you will have to go through some pain and trouble. If you want to lead, be for yourself. <laughs> don't stand in the way of people making their way to church. Don't be a hindrance. Don't let it be said that you stop them from coming to the house of the Lord. That's a serious charge. Mm -hmm. Make sure you always give your best to the kingdom work, the halfway work. If I don't do something, I must be the best I can do. It's true. That he gave his best for us. We can't hide behind the mask. Mm. As it may, may not be to see who you are, but the Lord knows. That's right. <laughs> are you pleased with the worship you have given today? Question. <laughs> Giving your all. Uh -huh. Hopefully the answer is yes. All right. When you stop serving the kingdom, it's time to pack your bag. Mercy, mercy, out of semen. Sir. <laughs> he said, okay. It's your yes, birthday. birthday. <laughs> yes, it is your birthday coming up. <laughs> oh, Tithing exhortation today. Now, we've often heard about tithing and giving. And I know many say, I can't. Yes, I gave them. There you go. Because it's important to see that paying tithes is not just something you do haphazardly. That's right. There are two important lessons we can learn from this particular scripture in St. Mark, chapter 12, 41 and 44 to 44. Reads us thus. And Jesus set over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money yes. into the treasury mm -hmm. and many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow mm -hmm. and she threw him to mice which makes a fall. And he called unto his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you that this poor widow has cast more in than all they which had yeah. cast yeah. into the treasury. For all they did cast in was out of their abundance. Mm -hmm. But she, of what her want to cast in all that had, even for her living. Now you may be saying, what does that have to do with tithing? Mm -hmm. It's talking about offering. Offering is a free leave. However, tithing is a godly order. Amen. However, the lessons are still the same. When giving one's tithes, we have to make sure, lesson number one, that the attitude of your heart is correct. Sure. Absolutely. We cannot be giving just because we have been asked by the church, as many people say, or grudgingly as stated in 2 Corinthians 9, 7 d Don't give, not grudgingly, or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. Our heart must be in the right place when we give our time. Absolutely. The scriptures tell us that God loveth, meaning continues to love Thank you, Lord. a cheerful giver. If we think of God giving to us, then we should give to God cheer for Amen. Amen. Lesson number two. Mm -hmm. Give in faith. Our faith has to be placed in God, who we are tied into. That the blessing or need that we have will be met. We cannot say that we have faith, yet when it's time to talk, mm -hmm. we look at what we have to pay financially right. to everyone mm -hmm. and institutions and give God what is left. 
my heart. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith mm -hmm. is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now, so if you're paying your tithes now, have your faith now because you don't know. You don't know what God's going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Faith in giving Hallelujah. says, God, I give you mm -hmm. and I expect you to take care of the rest. Thank you, Lord. That is why we have faith now to believe that God will bless even though we do not see it. Let us give with a good heart mm -hmm. and by faith as we pay our tithes to God. Now my formula today, okay. good heart mm -hmm. plus faith equals blessings. Thank you. Oh, Hallelujah. All right there, about to go. Amen. 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 And under the introduction of the ushers, can you follow the ushers around the offering bucket? We depart to obey the word of God in our daily lives. We depart to share our testimonies and win souls. We depart to reign in life as kings and priests of the Lord Jesus Christ. We depart to conquer evil and show forth the love of God in a dying world. Jude 24, 25. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Have a